Hey everyone, if you're like us, you're already thinking about the holidays. Yes, that's Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving if you just celebrate with friends. Actually, I'm talking about Spanksgiving. Ooh, what's that? It is an entire class based on impact play. However, to be serious, before we celebrate Spanksgiving, there's a few acronyms you should know from the BDSM community just to keep everyone safe. So it started out many years ago with something called safe, sane, and consensual. My definition of safe and sane may be completely different from John's definition of safe and sane. So over the years, it has evolved to rack risk-aware consensual kink. So you know what you're getting into. You're giving consent. You have negotiated the details of your play, your scene, and your aftercare, and knowing all the important things as any medical conditions, any requirements, such as myself, I am a type 2 diabetic, and I also had neck surgery a couple of years ago. So that way John knows where he could play with me during our scene. And actually that's even evolved to something called prick. Personal, responsible, informed, consensual kink. Because obviously, we're all personally responsible for our own actions. And that action may be not speaking up when something hurts. So remember, if something does hurt, it's everyone's responsibility to communicate. And then we evolved to our favorite one, which is crash. <sighs> consensual risk aware shit happens and for us it, it we've been doing this for 10 years and it has happened to us i mean we've negotiated we knew the risk we gave consent and something still happened it's just it, it, it's always possible it, it's that like something can happen yeah but the point is we don't end it there we continue on we learn from it and we keep going and having fun. Oh yeah, we do laugh about it, but at least we are informed on how to take care of what happened. So for example, we were doing a rope scene. I decided to do a downward dog while still tied up, which messed up my back. So we had to make sure we you know, took care of it for the nerve damage or any pain that was caused from it. So again, we've been doing rope for like three or four years and it still happened. So if you're interested in BDSM impact play, come to Spanksgiving, where you're going to learn that we want to cause pain, but we never want to cause harm. There's a big difference between the two, and to be safe, you want to know the difference. We'll see you there.